town, right? Can you get them to stop threatening me every time I walk past their house? I can try. How can I pitch in? Hmm. Things are looking up. Maybe I'll stick around. Yeah, she's no longer frustrated. Be right back. Take care of my health. Time for a doc to check me out. We need you to find some shit for us. with you lickety split it's nice to know that there are still some good people out there the moon Shit to build with that say. That bullshit didn't kill me. It made me stronger. I'm glad. <laughs> Ugh, being this close to a plague heart always gives me the creeps. Who would you want to? Um, the lumber mill, from what I remember. Yeah. Powder, right? I'm thinking we got a plague heart nearby. Is it what? Louder? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's if I use it, yeah. Yeah. Um, it what? Makes, it makes building material? Yep, so I'm going to put um an auto shop there. I could just build, I could armor out four right cars. Finally, somebody who can make people listen to reason. Wow. Wow. Meg's already triggering it. Reason. Oh dear. What's up, bro? Every hey, time bro. I pass, I pull their guns in, yell at me, yeah, I'm sick of it. Okay. Yeah, so let me go talk to him.
Don't be a stranger. That's good news. Oh, come on now. I'm cool. Yep. I gotta look at other stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm looking. Hey. I'm good to go. They demand food, huh? Well, we play this game a lot. Mm. Oh, yeah. Crow's ass game. I've played since oh, the no. first game. I've played at least all of you guys have at least 200 hours. At least. I'm, I think I'm close to 400 now between uh, Xbox and the Steam. Yeah. I have a lot of time. Look what I found. <laughs> I'm always nervous that some of that stuff is gonna end up being like indestructible. You know, yeah. <laughs> it spoils the plans. All right, we're guests here, so everyone be on their best behavior. Yeah, I also play SD1, not play SD. Oh, you're gonna buy it? Awesome. Yes, yeah, it's, it's shaping Time up. To see you again. It's really worthy. Come on, hang out. A really great game. I mean, it's always been a great game, but it's just getting better. The release of Lethal really gets the uh, hits the spot for number one. Nice to know you got my back. I have 30 minutes to attain food for him. All right. At least he said. Please. Let's see who knows where some extra supplies might be hiding. find someone in the network to handle that. Uh, since when did we become a fucking charity? Whoa. Who said that? The network treats everyone like one big family. I like that. Edition was awesome. All DLCs and um, every DLC since Jug has just been free, and they're incorporated into the game, to you know, as updates. So it's amazing. The, the, these guys have been amazing since one and two's two so great. So, and they're still there's a really big update coming in going to change the game and again they've, they've also said officially they have no end date for State of Decay 2 so once you buy it they're going to keep working on it for the foreseeable future that's really mm -hmm. see I would give them money but they're like no nah, you can just have it I'm like alright I'm just going to promote it everyone, everyone buy it Yeah, they're great. 
they're funny. They yeah. listen to their community. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, where are you going to buy it on Steam or the Xbox? Xbox. Or do you already have it? Locked. This place looks pretty clean. Oh, you are not getting back up. Don't hey, just beat off. I got some fridges. So, we need to talk. Better than a slap in the face. We need to talk, says who? Oops, que muertos. Bring a party. Wow. Got a whatever out there still. <laughs> got a rest. <laughs> I'm almost out of fight. Okay. There we go. Are we, um, I should have asked first. Are we not doing fast search unless we have to? We can do it. Just, I wouldn't do it around play cards. They've been wrecking everyone so if like we're in between two plagues i wouldn't fast search it's locked up i hope nothing heard that that guy's sleepy not okay We got food for him. So little. I think I ought to rest. We can rest in a bit. <laughs> Sick. No way. Stand still, and when they come at you, press B and then hit X. Press B. I miss fitness models, and man. Then you, you press oh, nobody got the calories to stay aesthetic now. Yeah. 
Get on PS or Xbox. Is there more dead than multi and harder? That could have been bad, but I'm okay or now. Or is it easy to play multi? Uh. No, the same rules. It doesn't scale. Um, lethal. There's a lot of zombies by yourself. Looks um, like they're cleared out. And it's a lot to handle even with your friends. Kind of how the zombie clean. works is the more sound you make. So if you look on my left, it actually shows you the sound indicator, like when you do That's things. That's gonna slow me down. And when you fire or if you hit certain like infestations or play cards, it spawns more of them. So in a way, it scales when you have multi because you have four people making noise, so you got four times the zombies spawning on you. But at the same time, if you're by yourself and you chuck like four grenades, it will spawn four <laughs> uh, things of zombies. So that's like one way to see it. Wait, Mom's you have difficulties? Me. Yes. There, yeah, there, there used to be oh, difficulties, yeah. but now there is. There's five different kinds, and you can change uh, what kind of difficulties you want. So... It was really cool because it, it started with standard. They gave in green to get new players in to understand the game. Then dread and nightmare came, which were for harder things. Then we mastered that, and that got pretty easy, which it's still pretty difficult, both of those things. And then now we're in lethal. And then now they're making it harder. Mm -hmm. And so it's, I love it. I mean, this is, I'm sold on them because they just keep making it more interesting, harder. Um, Really testing. Keep adding and tweaking, yeah. Yeah, really testing if you've it's, if you've mastered how to survive in the zombie apocalypse. It's very cool. We're getting pretty dinged up. Yeah, cars basically have cars. Feral, oh God, feral, ferals. feral. Blood ferals. are so dangerous for this very reason. But I have a mission to do this here. Stealth is a big thing in here too, by the way, Pro. It helps avoid Gotta stay out of that cloud. Because there are so many zombies. Three minutes. But I don't even know if I have Three minutes for I can't click. keep this up. Oh God. Yeah. I can't lose the moon like this. I'm, I'm heading to the car. Get to the, get in the back. They know. Yeah, but <laughs> they've been they've been doing the, the jumping thing. Oh 
nobody else is gonna do it. Well, that's pretty heavy. I'm one shot. Yeah, no, exactly. That's why I've been. That's why I just can't really stop. Rough. Yeah, once they put in nightmare, yeah. I can't stop playing. Like I played a great deal during when it was just state, and I I have all those videos up there, and you know I had a lot of fun. But it got to the point where I was winning too quickly, so I was like, oh, I'll be done for a while. Then they put in dread. They put in dread nightmare. I jumped right to nightmare. I mastered the heck out of that. I oh. loved it. Um, mm -hmm. something too that you can share. Huh. Uh, there, just remembered uh, Heartland. I don't know. If, oh, I don't that's know if right. Knows about Heartland. Pro, yeah, there, there's a one of the DLC is a campaign DLC. It's very similar to the first game that connects. It takes place in between one and two, so it takes place after um, after one, and Lily sends you back to uh, to the first game. Time and to fucking explains. floor it. And it, it uh, does not explain, but it kind of sets up kind of how number two is the more mystery, of course, more mystery, and then. Uh, um, I'm actually gonna leave the game. Yeah, leave, don't die. Because he's got less than a minute now. Yeah, we're not gonna make it that way. Yeah. I'll see, hopefully, I have enough here. Yeah. Um, oh, and Pro, there's so many cool things about this game, like, uh,. Once you start getting into boons and stuff, like when you beat the game, you get boons based on your leaders. So it makes your playthroughs. Better really keep an eye out different. for plague zombies. I might be carrying too much here. Oh god. Friends help me. Man, got a horde rambling around over here. You saved my ass. Anytime. Yeah, this is the apocalypse. Praying nights won't get us anywhere. Okay, you can hang out if you like. Calm down, Sam. Shoot, I need help. Down to my last man. So I've been, I finally, I got my first victory pro so with, um, with the warlord. So I got, I got a lot of bullets and so I'm using guns like crazy because usually it's really hard to use the gun oh God. because you can't get enough bullets or you can't find a good one before you break. But like this gun's a DLC gun. Um, I, I'm just wrong to say that, but it's a cash it's a bounties gun. Yeah. If you're up for playing good neighbor, from we'd some, be uh, grateful. See? Yeah. Hey, all this noise is gonna bring a lot of zombies. Just, you know, FYI. As one of the best add-ons they put in was the bounty system. And what that is... Down to the last one. Yeah, what that is, is it's a guy called Cash Beaumont. You go to him, you get bounties, you can have from 12 different packs which rotate all year. And they give you guns and cosmetics and oh, dude, yeah, 
Pro. Check this out. I'll switch to her because she's causing a lot of problems in my community. Oh, Sam. Okay, so Sam. We'll switch to Sam. And look at this. Check this out, man. You can have cosmetics. Which, once you unlock it, it unlocks to your account permanently. So all my characters look the way they look because I want them to look that way. Here's all the jackets, like shirts, jackets, everything they've been adding. It's, it's wonderful. It's all free. Not to you alarm just have you, to but find we've it got or a do few a too many infestations Here's around here. Here's all the hats. So, no, uh, what what makes him really cool? Why we why there's such an incentive to do the bounty? Once you do the bounty, he gives you one. I he gives you the item for free. Just straight up here, have an item like that assault rifle. That's a bounty item. He gives it to you. Then, if you want to buy more, you can use influence to buy more <laughs> to give the rest of your community. And then it's unlocked like that for the whole month. And then it gets. Then once that pack goes away, um, you can you you can do it again and get bonus influence for it. And then you can unlock it again. So the so the answer to your thing is um, he gives it to you, and then you can buy the others. Uh, also, in bounty packs, they they everything that's in the bounty pack is not all that's part of that pack. So, uh, some of the items are just in loots. Like for example, I'm missing three cosmetics that I have to find from looting farms and houses in a specific map. Yeah, uh, okay, so here, check this out. So Moon Moon is a sheriff, okay? This is my sheriff, and if I beat this game, which I intend to beat this run with Moon as my sheriff, then I will unlock something called a boon. And what the boon does, here, you know what? I'm just going to show you. From one OG to another, since you played the first one, I will show you this. Okay, so check this out. Manage communities. Hey, I have another community. The new beginning. Weird. Oh well. Tutorial's great, but we're just gonna skip it. Uh, they added another map, so there's four maps. I hope they add more. Um, uh, let's go the hills. Only one difficulty here, which is lethal. So th this is the process in which you make a, a you make a community. You know, bam, bam, bam. I picked that. This is what a boon is. So you get to start the game with two boons. Mm -hmm. So this one's the warlord, and then the other three are the other three leaders. And so they give you different effects. The warlord unlocks mobilization, which allows me to create. Uh, when I create a community, I'm given a pile of guns, ammo, and grenades to start off with, which is huge. I get, they even hand me a 50 cal gun, which I can take out jugs with. It's amazing. So I can get that, and the sheriff boon is once per day, your old communities, like the old, the other people you've helped in your previous game, they give you gifts. They send you. It can be. They give you random items every day. It could be guns, medical supplies, anything. And uh, yeah. And then the builder gives you free power and water for every base you ever have, which is pretty cool, and a sniper tower. The trader gives you like 4,000 bucks, I think. 1,000 or 4, something like that. And you get um, a free enclave. So, the last thing, Pearl, that I want to show you is the cool thing about this game, which I really love, because I'm sure you did break, uh, Breakdown. Whenever you beat a run with one of your players, they go into a, something called a legacy pool. It's like the new hero system. 
And so these are my characters that I beat the lot that I won. Ugh. These are my community members. Clearly it's late. That I beat my last run with. So I can continue them on with all their upgrades in place, all their items in place. Everything. So I can take them in. Or I can just take uh, I can take random newly generated rookies and start over. <laughs> Slept in a tree. Environmentalist. Probably helps me with beds. Slaughterhouse worker. Probably good with food. And computers. That was a good roll. Yes, they have four maps, so, and state, remember in state one, it was always the same map over and over. And this one, they added different maps, so you can leave. So, it's just like breakdown where, you know, when you go to level one, level two, level three, they just reset the same map, and then you start over, and the world's harder. Pretty much like that, but you can go to different worlds, and the world gets harder based on how many days that you stay, that you're here with that community. So, day one, day two, day three. Some people got into like day 600 and something. It's pretty cool. I know, right? No, it's it's amazing. For people that loved state one as much as I did, every time they're like, oh, is two worth it? 100% yes. You should just play it now. You know, you just, you just do it. And, and if you ever wanted to, you could look at them here, so. Here's my legacy pool. You, there, the only one thing you might not like is, because I still struggle with it, because I wish it was more of number one. And number one, you can easily find 30 survivors, and you work with 30 survivors. And this one, the max you can recruit is nine. I know, nine. But you can still get people. Like, you, you know, you can find survivors, and they're joining you, and that can go up to 16 people. But that's about it. So that's the only quote unquote downside. I'm hoping they're changed that later or with state three, they're reintroduced gigantic groups again, but that is such a small thing. Um, they did a great job having the nine people, uh, managing the nine people. But anyway, so right now all you see is uh, a few of my guys here because, oh, see, here's an example. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven people here. I took three of them into my new community, so I had 10 people in my last playthrough, I believe, yeah, and so there you go, but yeah, it keeps everything, and they get badges, so this is my warlord, Victoria, and so every time I, I win a, a playthrough with her, she'll get more badges, so it gives you more of like bragging around, like this person's been alive for eight runs, ten runs, but once they die, they're permanently dead, just like in one. So it's really devastating. And I, I just can't talk this game up enough. <laughs> just can't. Just can't. You know, I haven't even seen this one in a while. Hold on. Meg, I didn't even realize I had a second community. I didn't well, know that. one was True Grit. But, but that, I don't that think was on... That was only after, I think it's though. the one you completed, right? I don't know. I don't remember trust having a True Grit here. I had one on my app because I still have those communities. Who is the best for first game leader? Oh, dude, that is a, that is a tough really one. You really ought to think about clearing out more infestations. That's a tough one because it's... it's all, Okay, here's the other best part about this game. It really is your play style. Oh, my God. Look at all these. She's frustrated. Gardening. Who's my leader? A traitor. No way. I got to beat it with Moon, though. And then I'll come back and beat it with this one. Wow, they're all frustrated. That's a mess. I'm not dealing with that right now. <laughs> <laughs> they're all <laughs> it, it, it depends, man. Wow. Um, yeah. Here, I'll show you, too. Um, when you pick a leader, not only does it... That, that's the boon, right? But when you actually have a leader, you get a specific building. It gives you a specific advantage in that playthrough, right? So for me and how, in my experiences, I loved the armory, which is the building specific for the Warlord. 
The armor allows you to build any ammunition you want, which is amazing, and allows you to build grenades and mines with professional suppressors, which you really want because you want to stay as quiet as possible. I could use a hand over here. Can you spare someone? Maybe. Uh, speak with about giving this group some ammunition. Uh, All right, hold on. I'm on my way. I'll owe you one. So, okay, so this is what I was going to show you. This is what I'm working on currently. Um, oh, I can't show you yet. You, you get these um, small and big, you know, plots of land, right? And you can build it, a building based on them. I'm about to get a new base, an eight-player base, one of the late-tier bases, and then I can show you because I have to rebuild all that. I need, like, 200 influence. So after this one, I should be able to get it. And then I can show you. But it really depends on what you're doing, how you're feeling. Like, uh, sometimes I... You might want to switch so you can complete the run because the sheriff the one i'm playing right now has a field hospital which is like a really souped up infirmary it's like basically a hospital hence the name it's extremely good you you don't have to spend any resources on medicals because that's one of the things you spend a lot of resources on is the infirmary and keeping your people up because you can become infected and plagued, which then turns your people into zombies, which is horrible. Which is what I caught, unfortunately. Yeah. So <laughs> I saved them. Yeah. So those red zombies can actually turn you into zombies if they bite you. So that's why I just was shooting them because <laughs> I didn't want to lose my leader because my leader was out there. Uh, and ferals are the worst. Anyone red can turn you into a zombie. Anyone who doesn't have like red eyes or red on them, they just can they just eat you and rip you apart. Which is not much better, but you know. She should be fine. I'm gonna hope she's fine. Alright. I'll be back in there. So it really depends on what you're having problems with, bro. Like if you're, if you can survive, if you're a really good survivalist, then yeah, maybe the warlord or um, maybe the warlord. But if you're like me and you really, really, really like big groups, you're probably gonna want something like the builder. It makes makes uh, bigger groups easier to maintain. Uh, or if you want to be really self-sufficient, trader. What are the other two? Your first is a warlord and second is a sheriff. No, I I don't have a second boon because I haven't completed lethal twice. You only get a boon for each difficulty that you've beaten. So, or lower. So when I beat it on nightmare, I beat all four in nightmare. So I had all four boons in nightmare and all difficulties below. But once lethal came out, I had zero. So I had to play again. And the first time took me quite a while, but I beat it with the Warlord. Um, and so I have the Warlord, that's it. But if I beat this one, then I'll have access to the Sheriff, if I win with the Sheriff. I say if because this happens a lot where if I'm playing, stuff happens, you know, stuff happens. And your leader can get killed and you have to elect a new one. And, hope, and usually you have to elect a new one that uh, will see you see you and your group through to surviving. So it could be maybe someone else. But I'm hoping as a sheriff, once that happens, I'm going to go Warlord Sheriff. Um, my favorite Having a play card move in must really fuck up property values. Because that's always a very popular question. My favorite combination is something with the Warlord. It's always Warlord Sheriff or Warlord Trader for me because of how I play. But I usually change up my boons based on my legacies, the one I'm going to send in. So I usually deter. That's why I like to have all four. That's great. You can't take boons to other difficulties. 
You can take them to other difficulties if they're lower than the difficulty that you beat. So now that I've beat lethal, if I didn't have any boons before, it would go. It would give me all the boons for all the difficulties for only the warlord if I beat it in lethal. But if I let's say someone beats it in green zone and then switches to we lethal, another unit today. they won't have the Good boon. soldiers, but they got sloppy. Never scavenge an area you haven't scouted first. Alright, is that squash? I won't do that. Really. A6. So now this would be, in essence, in a very loose way, this would be like level 6. Just for playing the days go by. Nighttime is always dangerous, by the way. When you play, there's always more specials out. I have to admit, I'm getting overwhelmed by how things have gone lately. Oh my god, just stay with me. Just stay with me here. Oh yeah, people can leave, by the way. If they get too stressed. Up at home. Oh, another cool thing too, these enclaves that you help, if you become allied with them, because you can ally with them, they give you passive perks. Yo, Sheriff, or abilities. Can we get a hand out here? How can I pitch in? Thanks. Later. Let's make a deal. Why not? I shouldn't have bought that stuff, but I need stuff. up though I can't bring moon yet all right I'm going back to my base okay hmm. <laughs> <Bro. laughs> man I was like it's no don't <laughs> don't wait <for> that. <laughs> another side is YOLO oh man well my my theory always is as long as you pay your bills you're good. If you can't pay your bills then wait. It's always my my thing. But yeah, this month my wallet was crying, doesn't even talk to me anymore. <laughs> too many good games came out and I bought too many things and uh, now there's no money for savings and my wallet hates me. Turn in some luxury items and then I can go get the, the base. There's a horde heading our way, but we can handle them without you. Oh, shoot. Well, it's not a hunter's bow, there's no piercing. Frustrated. Once we get once we get there, I get you guys a lounge. I get you a huge kitchen. It'll be paradise. So just wait, wait, my friends. But yeah, dude, I'm so glad to talk about this. I'm so glad you, you want to hear about it. I talk about this all the time. And there's so many strategies. And there's so many. Abilities. The best part about it, it always remained um, very open. Everyone has a way of winning, and they're all very effective. 
Division. That's the best part. There's so many ways to do it. There's stealth players like me. There's combat players. There's hybrids. There's there's all kinds of people. And it's very, very cool. No room. I hope this is enough. anymore? Why are we neutral? So you can come in, friends. but we'll be watching you, okay? Adios. Why are we neutral? Yeah, hello. What happened, friends? What happened? I thought we were friends. Difficulty to get to start. Mm. How okay? How how much did you play one, or um, what did you play in state one? That's that's probably the best way. Since you played it, I could probably tell you where. But also it depends on kind of player you are. For example, I I just love I love uh, surviving. So I it, I always start on the hardest difficulty. Business partner? Yeah, why not? Wow, we're running out of food. No, nope, not enough. This could be a big help to us. Boring. Forty-four minutes. I am an SOT player. <laughs> well, okay. So, when what I what I mean by that is, in, in state one, I loved playing breakdown, and I got very far in breakdown because I really liked the how dangerous it was. So, like standard, bored me after a while. Well, I could have been made, louder. It was made to help new players out, but for my friends it was a good place to start because they had never played a, game, played a game like this. So, for a lot of veteran players, or players that like the challenge, that really like hey. to, you know, test you got what, something for me? You know, what they sure. are, um, I recommend harder difficulties like Dread or, um, oh yeah, I rock. Okay. Better question. A hey, plat, better question. Pro, do you like to just jump into the deep end, or do you like to learn the mechanics as you go and then challenge yourself? If you like to jump into the deep end, go lethal. If you want to learn how things are, I would start with dread. Dread is hard enough to keep it really interesting, but it doesn't have all these plague specials running around, so you won't die. like in lethal. You can die in the first five minutes. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so hey, amigo, dread is dread is a little, all right, little, see ya, caring. It's 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 a good introduction for veteran players. You know, 
and you can change things like you can change difficulties like loot and stuff like that i'm always always info in master game okay so i would say i would say dread i would say dread is good because then it will introduce you to normal ferals normal jugs and then i don't think i again forgive me if i'm wrong i don't think it's that hard but again i play a lot but i would start with dread a little harder than standard and they're they're all of them are their own their experiences so if you don't like it you can change the difficulty while in game like if i wanted to let's say i'm, I'm playing lethal i don't like it i can change the difficulties i can slide them down right now just to make it harder and it explains everything what's what makes it harder what <coughs> oh, oh wrong two if you're excited about that state Nah, probably because I'm talking too much. <laughs> <laughs> I got two minutes to get back. That's probably the right idea. So yeah, I would say Dread. If you're feeling really good there, and you're starting to master all that, I would say go into Nightmare, which it's a little harder than Dread, but it really emphasizes the danger of the plague, because it has all the plague screamers, plague ferals, and yeah. And then when you master that, you can go into Lethal. And Lethal will test your mastery of everything. How, how good you are with the builds, because I'm sure you remember the builds, you know, when a character levels up and all. And then that, I don't even get me started on that. There's all kinds of different builds you can have in this game. Um, there are so many ways to build, like, a heavy, so many ways to build an assassin. Yeah. There's a lot to learn, so you have lots to do. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I have a minute. It's, for some reason, it spawned me. Oh, away from the track. Because I was out of the car. It's probably trying to be like, don't die. Nope. <laughs> that little piss ant better stay out of my way. Wow. I'd rather get eaten than infected by stupid. Please stop. Wow. So, yeah, and. Just getting worse. I gotta lighten them up. But yeah, uh, pro. And when it comes to maps, whatever looks cool to you. Like, you know, this is the new map. This is the ridge. Pretty much like a forest, which I like. Bigger valleys, like Meg's favorite, which is just open valleys and farms. Yeah, this is where uh, if you choose to do the tutorial, it'll bring you into this map. Oh, I recommend the tutorial, by the way. It does a really good job of teaching you everything without like holding your hand too much. Yeah, like shooting fish in a barrel. Dead fish, I guess. Darn it, I missed it. I should have just yeah. Like 200 away. Oh, we're like 25 points away. Don't Having a play card man. move in must play really fuck up property values. Are the name of the game. Those things are scary, but that's how you finish the game is you gotta take all the play cards. And on lethal, there's like 33. And I think on the other ones, there's like maybe 20. Oh, bye bye. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah Platt. I actually just got done. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, Platt, how you been, man? The last thing came on, we were getting off. There's a bad vibe around the... Guess who's back? I dare you, Pharaoh. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna wait inside with my friends, okay? But I'm still <laughs> tough. Oh, shoot. 
Where's my... I think we're all starting to feel a bit crowded. No. I need a little me time. My brother worked as a cop in this town, but I haven't seen him since the outbreak. We can the car. definitely use more people with tactical training. See what you can yeah. find. Yeah. Get away from the car and get to blows up. Yeah, oh no, it's amazing, right? It, get a professional suppressor on that thing, and it's borderline OP. Nice. I got. I put an advanced uh, yeah. suppressor. Yeah, I put a. I put an advanced one on it just for kicks and giggles the other day, right? Uh huh. And I didn't want to put it down, and I went sharpshooter with it because it will never break. We'll get know? real hungry if we don't yeah. find more food. That was amazing. And everyone's gonna get mad right now. We should be able to help her. I'm coming your way, whether you like me or not. Oh, shoot. Okay. Good. I need you over here, like, right away. I'm pretty sure I know what she's going to ask, and I'm going to be really mad about it. Oh, it's in here. This will slow me down. What's up, Buttercup? Hmm. I'm going after a play card really quick. Oh. Let me grab... Do you want me to bring a powerhouse? Mm, if you feel comfortable to do it, yeah. I'm bring. I'm gonna... I'm gonna obliterate it from afar. I don't feel safe enough going in. Okay. At least that's the plan. No. I brought my other community because I don't want to... Uh have too many issues. Add add to the list. Get the lumber mill. After this I should Hey! Anybody! Help! Hold oh, on, I'm you. coming. I've still got a lot of fight in me. There's no shame in taking a breather, alright? Okay, sign me up. Fire in the hole! That sure left a mark. Oh my god, she went in the way and I blew myself up. Breather. God, between two play cards, it's the worst. Getting low on. 
on that. It's hurting! Don't let up now! And I'm out. stuff. One left. Gotta kill that screamer. Yeah. This will slow me down. I need a break. Hmm. I need to take Sam out. She has no health. I kind of don't want to at the same time. Yeah, I'm close enough. I'll be safe. She got messed up. Hopefully now you'd be nice to your friends, Sam, because you need them. the other cool part too you can access your allies uh, inventory so you can you don't have to switch between them to give them different weapons you can just hand it to them keep your head on no 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 i don't want to do that yet then this will slow me down not yet he has a mission Yep. I am sicker than this. I need a doctor. There's a trail coming through the back.
headshot now! Right. Come with me if you want to live. <laughs> She's plagued. So if I don't help her, she's gonna turn. Okay, I gotta hydrate. You're right. You're so <laughs> right, bro. I need to hydrate. Do you need uh, Do you need samples or anything? Wow, Meg. Wow. It's like I you don't. Help. I know. Uh, no, I'm good. I won't. I won't make you uh, give up your supply. Oh, this is my, this is my... Oh, you're a lifesaver! Go on. It's nothing. Be careful out there. Nope, come back. Yes, pizza. Nope, come back. Oh, I can't trade with you. Oh, no. oh she had stuff. There's pizza. Oh no, I'm stuck. Can you push me or do I I I have to reload? Yeah, I have to reload. Okay. Hold on. Uh I'll pick up your rucksack and put it in your trunk. Yeah, do that. Chris. You don't lose it. Oh, yeah, I'll put it in your Jeep. No, 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 no. yeah, just put it in whatever's parked. Alright, bro. I'm drinking water. So tell me about base building. Uh, are they better? What is good? What is bad? Okay. It is right, go so good it. now. Um, no building is useless, even if you think it. Because, yeah. They really simplified a lot of it. Um, there's no scavenging anymore. No scavenger hunts. So you don't have to, you know. Yeah. And every time you move bases, they refund you the, uh, the materials. Which is really nice. But no. Fine nagle stretch. Oh, that was good. I got like eight cracks in my spine. Oh, yeah. That's the spot. Anyway. Okay. Oh, on the hmm. on the front screen. Mm -hmm. That's about the the packs, the plunder pack Oh yeah, that came in. Yeah. Well, pros pros about the play too. Yeah. So you'll see all that stuff. Yeah. So, uh, pro, all the buildings are better. The most essential buildings. I would say are your infirmary, workshop. No, that's not true. I would say kitchen. No, I would say I'm wrong. Really gotta talk about something. <laughs> it depends on your needs, but I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you right now. I'm about to go get a new base, and it will be a lot easier to just show you, not and talk to you at the same time. So I just gotta go pick up my loot. I'm gonna see if Rusting Apple take care of this. The best loot comes from. The play cards, hundred percent. So, oh my god, they're relentless. Terrible throw, terrible throw. But at least they turned. Friendship. Friendship. <laughs> no, he should beat the door on him. Sorry. <laughs> oh, hey there. See you around. Why 
want the big hand if I can get a scope. Bam. Okay. Uh, let's see. Maggie, ready to travel? We're gonna go to the fucking plague now. zombies. Must think they own this town. Okay. Uh, did you get your rucksack? Or do you want me to take a sixth vehicle? Make sure those vehicles are parked for me, please. They are not. Do 12, uh, 12 hours, you are a random streamer, but that in title sometimes, oh, okay. I can't say that, because I do that a lot, so. That's a lot of shit. Yeah, no, there, there, there'd be weeks where every day I'm just 12 hours in playing God knows what. So it almost seemed like a lie. And then if it wasn't a lie, people would expect me to marathon. That's just a lot of responsibility. <laughs> I need a little me time. My brother worked as a cop in this town, but I haven't seen him since the outbreak. We could definitely use more people with tactical training. See what you can find. Where do that? Spotted a freak. There we go. Blooder, blooder, blooder. That cloud is poison. See, I talk about leaving. They won't. They won't let me leave. Cans and some repair kits. I'm always needing gas. Dude, um, you get more influence on higher difficulty? Um, no, I believe. I believe they reduce it. They reduce it per, I believe. Uh, again, I don't play very much off lethal. And they change things once lethal came in, so my knowledge of the lowers is weird. I always feel richer in lethal because there's so many more targets so i'm making a lot of money per engagement so i've always found that lethal i make a lot of money in hence why that's why meg's here that's why a lot of my buddies come and help me is because they make a lot of money with me because there's a lot of people to uh eliminate and to kill and they're everywhere and especially when we get past day 30, there's just oceans of zombies. Speaking of which, not really oceans of zombies, but speaking of interesting things, let's go see Mr. Boma. Mr. Cash. Pro, this is what I was talking about when it came to Hello there. Uh, we could use your help on a rather urgent matter. So any might we chat for a bit? No cash, yes we can. Any um anything I've done, right? So I've unlocked all the bounties. Um, 
so I own everything. So because I own everything which is resembled in white, I can pay in that influence and get copies of it. Anything in blue is what I'm currently working on, which I only have four left, which three give me influence and one gives me a shotgun, which I don't really want, so kind of eh. Take care. So this is the guy you come to. What's up? What's happening? I only have one left. <laughs> one what? One Hello. Uh, one bounty that Nothing I Nothing ventured, as they say. Oh nice. By the way, this Let pack, get it there. this one is amazing. Trumbull Valley pack. This is uh, for State 1 and Heartland. These guns, these echo guns are amazing. And they're all silent. Love them so much. If you are brave enough to say goodbye, life will reward you with a new hello. Wow. You know, he has such wisdom. You know? Such wisdom. All right. I cannot help you there. I have like play card central. There's like 11 of them right there. <laughs> uh, I just think of the, the beta stuff that's happening. Yeah, right? Yeah, all the new yeah, updates. Just... There's so many, so many more cool things they're bringing in, but yeah. That'd, that'd be miserable. It, it's already miserable yeah. now. It's going to be even more miserable then. So It's going to be great. Imagine having a base right beside there that you want. Interested. Oh, I'm interested, but I'm gonna spend like three thousand bucks on this right now. So, I'll get back to you. Once you get the lumber mill, hop out. What? Once you get the lumber mill, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna head off. Uh, stay for just a little bit. Give me some security while I explain the buildings, and then I'll head out too. It's like okay. almost five in the morning, <laughs> and I have to be back yeah. soon. I want you guys to know that's how much I like all of you. I think I will eat that pizza tomorrow, and then I'm going to crash <laughs> after tomorrow's stream. Just flop right in. So we're they're, missing easy headshots. They're uh, they're jumping around on my screen. <laughs> so you're yeah, I'm from the USA. Yeah. 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 And I, my schedules are all weird because sometimes a little spit pits. and polish, and we could live here. And then I'm always up. There was one month where I would go to bed at eight in the morning every day, wake up every day sure at like five, like full blown. Crazy. And I'm out of gas. It's crazy. Get into this. Oh, a uh, cool. Hello. Yeah, I usually am up this late, depending on, especially when I'm playing XCOM, because I have a lot, of, a lot of people from the EU watch me in XCOM. I have a cool community over there. So, all right, cool. Everyone's here. Now we can talk about it. Meg, if you could do me a favor and give me some security. So, base building time. First things first. We're gonna do a staging area. Now, this thing's awesome because what, what it does pro is it prevents um, me having to pay resources, or sorry, pay materials and upkeep for buildings, which is amazing. So you can put that down while you build your base and you won't lose anything. 
Okay, because I'm a sheriff. And this is what I was talking about. Okay, I gotta do this kind of fast before it hurts. So here's the leader projects. So each one has a huge advantage in the game. And, but you can only build the one that corresponds to your current leader. So, field hospital. This one's dedicated to the sheriff, so I'm gonna do this one. This is amazing, has like four beds, heals traumas, and it has all the passive perks of a level three infirmary, plus some. I need a kitchen though, that's for sure. Kitchen is essential because the kitchen allows you to actually make food. So if you have enough seeds, you can just make food and you, it helps you sustain your base. I need four beds, huh? Oh, I don't have, oh, the lounge. Haha. <laughs> hey, you're not dead. Thanks. I have one workforce. Which I'll get back some workforce in 20 seconds. So the buildings really help your needs. But most of the time, you can't have all the buildings you want. Most of the time. So you have to kind of, th you have to think very strategically of what you need and that will correspond to your base. Can you switch from one leader to another when you max out standing? Yes, you can but there's a huge weight for it. So, okay. so for example, right now, Moon's my, my leader, okay? If I wanted to, I'm pretty sure I can take her, I can demote her and then promote someone else that I, that I want as a leader. We'll have to get rid but of there's a huge cooldown on it. I have never done it because I've never I just never needed to. I usually always stuck with the leader I wanted and the only reason I ever switched is if they died. But I do know there's a huge um, cooldown on it. So if you do it, make sure it's, uh, be wise with it. I'm off to find some trouble. So I'm depressed, I'm depressed because the uh, lethal community Victim, low food, 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 everything's food. Digestive problems, no watchtower. 25 materials I gotta spend, and fuel I gotta spend. What else is there? Workshops are essential. People say Hawaii is free of zombies. But that don't matter to me. Oh, you up for a swim? I say go for it. That place was crowded before. How bad you think it is now? I just feel like the network is so disorganized. I'm seeing way too many infestations around here. Yeah. A buddy I know... I don't know if it works, but a buddy I know was like, hey, um, build one, then switch and build another. I don't know if that works. I would assume it works, but once you leave the base or once the base is gone, then you would have to do it again. But it's very hard to find a base like this where you have four. Oh no, there's five. He was right. There was five large open spaces. Space is insane for like if you want to build high tier stuff. Wow. Wow, that's insane. Meg, this has five large slots. Yeah. How crazy is that? Knowledge of auto mechanics, crafting. I found some useful things while I was out. Meg. I'm gonna start with Haven. Yeah, another thing is too, by the way, Pro, which I, don't, I won't get into it much, but Daybreak is one of the DLCs. It's kind of like a horde mode, but it also tells about 
tells a lot of story about what was happening during the like ground zero day basically they have upgrades in there too like the farther you progress in daybreak they unlock things in the single player for you so there's that too you're welcome don't, don't, don't thank her goes to her head no i'm just what? kidding no. <laughs> Oh, and you can only build one, obviously, so I can't build another field hospital, but they do a really good job. It, uh, it simplified the buildings, but it's they're still complex, so it was a good job on that. It tells you leader project, daybreak facilities, defensive utilities, so this helps you with power, watchtowers, morale and training. This could help you build up your character's stuff and keep them happy. Resource production, I mean, it, it's fairly simple. The only thing you gotta really keep an eye on is the right where it says outdoor, indoor, and large and small uh, slot in the base. That's the biggest thing you gotta keep an eye on. <sighs> yeah, auto shop, anyway. And so some of these buildings are locked until you have acquire certain knowledge. So this is similar to one. So right now I can't get an auto shop because I don't have a mechanic. So I'm trying to train one right now. So this is a perfect time. When you see these characters, we call this a rookie because they have no golds, right? So Until we build better storage, I don't have, we have to expect stuff to get ruined like this. I don't have any of that. Sure would be nice to have some more food in the cupboard. I, I'm working on that, people. I promise you. It is it is a coming. Okay, because if you had a blank, I was going to just give you a mechanic book. If a what? -a? If you had a blank, I was just gonna give you a mechanic book. Oh no, I, I have one. Yeah, thank you. Though. But yeah. So like I was saying before, my people are getting all mad. Let's make <laughs> sure I get all their their needs met before they freak out. The best part is with the sheriff, I don't need I don't need the infirmary. I don't need to spend resources on this. I don't need to upgrade it three times. Um, I do need a workbench. I don't really want a training issue again. I'm a very big stealth player. I'm I'm very my playstyle. I'm very efficient with things, so I don't really need these things. But these are great ways to prepare your people before setting them out, especially if you have a hard time in combat. Um, I think that's it's, a barrel. Okay. Thank you. But yeah, everyone's building. Everyone's good. Not really. We have zero food. Get out of town. Everyone's starving. So yeah, they're not happy. Zero food. Zero food. What? Zero. Zero. Yep. Zero. Nada. Okay, well, yeah, nothing on your <laughs> Yeah, welcome to the bad. So every time I cook or use those abilities, right? That's that will help like the person that is associated with it. Uh, if you play Daybreak, you can have the building in Legacy Map. Yeah. So what they what they did was Daybreak has a lot of story progression. I'm just gonna exit here because I don't want to get sucked in. All right, Meg, leave for me, please. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, look at that field hospital. That beautiful field hospital. Let's cure your I'm infection. I'm gonna see if resting up will take care of this. And your infection. Time for a doc to check me out. out. Alright, I'll see you later. Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, so that's that. I believe I'm set till next time I come back. Yeah, that should be fine. Crossbow suppressors. I need that. I need that ammo press so I can make bullets. Before I get out of here, pro. Yes, good night, Meg. Yeah, is there a way to remove the fifth skill or add it? Okay, yes, there is, uh, pro. There's books that you can use to add if they're, we call them blanks, where they only have four and the fifth is empty. We call them blanks. There is a another book, which is extremely hard to find, where you can, re you can replace the first four. I, I don't believe there's a way to replace the fifth. 
Excellent. So picking your team is extremely important. And I can tell you right now, blanks are some of the most valuable recruits because you can build them from the ground up. Oh, what I was going to show you, which is too late now, is uh, when one when a, a person's trait upgrades like wits or cardio, it can split off into four to six different skills. It's like two, two to six, I think, or two to four, something like that. It depends what you're, what you have, because Daybreak soldiers are different. But anyway, before I go, this is what I was going to show you. When you play Daybreak, you you're downloading data to help with the apocalypse, and it unlocks you new weapons that you can play while in Daybreak. Now, once you get far enough, it will start on. It will start downloading things that unlock in the normal game that you can play in the sync. You know, in the legacy mode. So right now, here's just what I've unlocked. I've unlocked four melee weapons, three guns. I'm about to unlock this uh, consumables. And here's the the other, this is where the buildings are. So I have a red talent bunk room, which is pretty cool. Uh, support transmitter and a tumbler. It's like a, a break. Yeah, it's a muggle mod. Yeah. So that's pretty good. The, the most the most sought after one the one that I'm still trying to get because I just don't spend enough time here because I have such a great time in legacy mode um, there's a Cleo core and so you can if once you have that you can build a unique building in your single player which calls down Cleo drops to you it's amazing and I want to get that for my true grit achievement which is to survive like 360 days or 340 days in a legacy map which is really hard because as like we said it's like equivalent to like level 300 and you know it, it gets pretty insane so but yeah no daybreak's really fun there's a lot to unlock here um even heartland right even heartland like the story campaign you can this community you can never take it in to your legacy but your friends can join you and they can use weapons from here too, or bullets from here. It's pretty cool. So that's what a lot of my friends did too. For helping me in Heartland, I would just give them ammunition. Because Heartland is like the precursor to lethal. And oh, it's so much fun to have it in the legacy mode. It's exhilarating every time I play. Like, as you can hear, I probably sound really uh, drained because, yeah, it's late. But state, man. Uh, if I could, I'd just stay up 24 hours playing it. 24 hours, let me tell you. But, uh, yeah, my far as I ever got was 16. Then I dropped. You're so hyped? Yeah, dude, you should be, man. I love this game. Love it. And, you know, yeah, I just love it. So, and this, these are all the other games we play. So, this is my all, all time. Uh, where's my all times list? This is my all-time list. This is the games that I would recommend to anyone. And I would I think they're amazing games. Very few have made the all-times list. And I'm always trying to find more to add to it. But here is state. Here's both states. All yeah, state, state year one, all the orcs, everything. That's that's great. I made so many, you know, met so many new people today, it's great. But anywho, wonderful. And then, yeah, these are our current ongoing games. We have 215 ongoing games going on, including t games I play with friends. So all that good stuff. All right, pro, I'm going to get some sleep, and I will see you later. Take care of yourself, and yeah. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for stopping by. Good night, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, oh. And yes, in case yeah, in case you're wondering, I stream six to seven days every week. So always around if you want to come by and ask a question about state. Be more than happy to tell you about it. All right. That was my last one. Good night. I'll see you.